Hello again, tacticians. I'm Nicholas, game designer and at ease, and I am back, not too late, not too early, but precisely on time to give you more information about Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So it is what we call a geostrategic seasonal war game, which means that the main difference is that you can capture all of Middle-earth because we have a tile system. So in order to expand, you will have to capture tiles and grow your territory. Um, this allows for interesting gameplay. For example, uh, you can block uh, the path of other players, or you can lay siege to a city by surrounding it. Uh, players will also have to choose a faction at the start of the game, and uh, they will have to work together to reach uh, the objective, which is to obtain the One Ring. The goal of the game is to capture Dol Guldur, the dark fortress of Mirkwood, and as such to obtain the One Ring. So on this path, you will have to work together with your faction to capture other regions on the way to Dol Guldur, maybe block other factions' access to it, or even capture another faction's uh, capital city. There are many paths to victory, so we want to encourage different strategies. So we worked on the game for many years and as such, well, the game changed a lot in this process and part of the changes came from players. We had three closed beta tests and thanks to those, we gathered a lot of player feedback. So one of the things that we changed uh, was the way that marching works. So uh, before the change, uh, when you conquer the tile, the marching army would come back to where it came from, which was the player city. Um, after listening to feedback, we decided to change it in this way, uh, the way that it is now, which is uh, once you capture the tile, the marching army will stay on the tile. So this allows for a much faster expansion because then you can use this army to keep conquering lands around it. This got a very positive feedback from players and so we decided to keep that change. Another example, uh, is um, the way that faction benefits work. So um, before the change, uh, you could only use the tiles of your fellowship or alliance uh, members to expand. So you could conquer the tiles that are neighboring uh, your fellowship members' tiles. Uh, but after listening to player feedback, we decided that it was more interesting to uh, change it so that faction members' tiles can also be used so it made the game faster, basically, and there would be a faster PvP action, and so it just made the game more exciting. We decided to keep this change after receiving positive feedback from players. Well, we, we definitely added some of what we love about Lord of the Rings in this game. So um, I personally work a lot on the units, the troops that you can include in your army uh, and the commanders that you can recruit. So um, I'm a big fan of what we call the evil men in this game, which include um, Black Numenoreans, uh, Ron, Harad, all those people from those cultures. Uh, so I was very eager to uh, create uh, new heroes, new characters. Uh, for those um, factions or cultures and um, we will definitely see more of that in the future. Thank you for your interest in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. Join us on social media, leave comments, tell us what you think. See you next time.